Welcome back to the lead. A pending decision in the national lead could have a domino effect in Baltimore. The question, should there be a brand new trial for William Porter? He's one of six police officers charged in the death of Freddie Gray. A jury deadlocked yesterday, forcing a mistrial, which could really complicate the trials for the other cops accused in Gray's death. A verdict either way is key for many who want to see justice in Gray's death from back in April. Cell phone video show officers drag the 25-year-old into a police van. You see it there. His death a week later sparked days of protests. Let's go to CNN's Jean Kassar. She is in Baltimore. Jean, no trial date set today leaves William Porter's case in limbo, doesn't it? It, it really does. Um, here's what we know. This morning, attorneys from both sides met at Judge Barry Williams' chamber. And before they went in, uh, the defense attorney for William Porter sort of said to a clerk, yeah, we're here for a group picture. They went inside. They were there for 30 minutes. They came out. Both sides didn't say a word, and they walked down the hall. Um, the public information officer has confirmed with us there is no retrial date for uh, the defendant, William Porter. And there may be more scheduling conferences in the days to come. What she meant by that, we really don't know. But as it stands now, the driver of the transport van, Oscar Goodson, his trial is set to begin on January 6th. So explain how Porter's case is, is so important to the upcoming trials for, for the other officers, because in a way, they were kind of built on each other, weren't they? That's right, and that's why they wanted this one first. It's very, very dependent on Oscar Goodson's trial, the one coming up next, because William Porter was the police officer that actually talked to Freddie Gray. He said, what's up? And Freddie Gray said, either help or help me up. William Porter helped him up to the bench, and he said, do you need a medic? Freddie Gray said, yes. William Porter then told the wagon driver, he says he needs a medic. He also said, Central Booking isn't going to take him because they don't take uh, inmates that need uh, medical attention. He also told his sergeant, Alicia White, who is also a defendant in this case, he says he wants a medic. And remember, this case is all built on knowledge. What did William Porter know? What did the other police officers know? And if they knew that he needed medical attention and they didn't call an ambulance and they didn't do anything else to help save his life, that forms the basis of the prosecutor's case. And without this conviction with a with a trial still pending for William Porter, how can they use that statement? Yeah, that key, key statement, he needs a medic. Gene Cazares, thank you in Baltimore.